Okay. Alright, well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tommy G. MPJ. <laughs> and we're staring down game three of a three game series between the Freebooters and the Wild Pigs here in at the old Viejo, El Viejo in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, winner take all, Pete. The loser goes home. That's right. That's this is for all the marbles, and this is for the ability to play uh, play again. Okay, uh, lose up. and go home. So yeah, next one's for the pennant, and uh, this one's going to be the division champs. So two of these are wrapped up. We're going to quickly look over to see who's going to be who has taken the the other division in the conference, and the <laughs> stars in the plovers, the moon stars with the upset. Moonstars take the game 7-2 in the first game. The Blowfish come back 6-1, and the fourth seed beats the first seed with a 7-4 victory to go on to the semifinals. You're well, speechless? that seems tailor-made for the Freebooters. <laughs> so all they have to do is get past the Wild Pigs, and they should uh, they get a better-than-average fighting chance for the semis. Only problem is that was the... the uh, the lower seed beat the, the higher seed, so that's that, that's a bono for the booth. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying is if we can get past the wild pigs to the semifinals, it's yes. uh, us number the moon is number four, so that bodes well for us. It does. Wild it, pigs would have a, a little bit more of an even matchup with the moon stars. All right. So Speak. yeah, so we Speak. just got to get past this one. Yeah, speaking of the Wild Pigs uh, pregame show, this is the sixth meeting between these teams this season, PJ. That's right, that's right. And uh, so far, the only uh, the only Wild Pig that's really been able to get to um, uh, the freebooter pitching has been uh, Spanky Wagner, and he's kind of a question mark until we see um, we see what the coach uh, submits in his, as far as his batting order goes. Um, but he's been hitting 692 uh, for the season against uh, the um, Freebooters. Nobody else on the team is hitting more than uh, 300. Everybody else is below 300. So Spanky Wagner is the guy who's got me concerned, Tom. He does, and he's batting 1,000, as you can see there in the playoffs. Um, again, yeah, normally Four. I don't know if they would play him. Uh, but, you know, the back's against the wall here. This could be, you know, this is... It's a big game, so they may they may work him in somehow. Yeah, yeah, he did eat the. Uh, what did he do? He uh, groin strain, wasn't it? As he was legging out a, a double in the first game of the uh, playoffs, and and as you stated, four for four in that first game before he came out. So um, didn't play the second game. So uh, like I say, he is a question mark. Well, um, what are your three keys to the game there, Tommy G? What do you think the Freebooters have to do to come away with a victory tonight? <laughs> uh, smart base running. Um, solid pitching, and then uh, yeah, no fielding mistakes. Yeah, yeah. I put uh, I got patience at the plate because I know at least one uh, one of the you know uh, some of the free booter hitters get so uh, excited about putting the ball in play that they wind up swinging at really bad <laughs> pitches. So I know what you're talking patience. about. Patience, <laughs> uh, I did. Uh, patience at the plate. I got conservative to a point as far as the base running goes. I mean, we want to stay. Uh, like you said, no no base running errors until at least we've we've been able to build up a, a nice lead. At, at which point, if you want to take a little bit more and try to stretch things, well, that's okay. But uh, stay conservative until you get to that point. And then the la my last key would be trust, because I think the times that we've run into problems with base running um, is when we decide to send a guy, and then it looks like it's going to be close, so we uh, we try to get him to go back. So yeah. it's like you know, just trust your instinct. And more times than not, I think, I think they probably would have beat that throw if we hadn't have interfered. So yeah, yeah, commit to those <laughs> those decisions. Yeah. yeah, pitching. Choose it, and then put the put the thing down, and let let it let whatever happen happen. You know. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, matching uh, the pitching matchup starting out, we got starting pitcher is Durbin Holmes for the uh, Wild Pigs. I don't remember going up against Holmes during the regular season or in the playoffs yet. He's got velocity. It's okay. His junk's pretty darn good, and and he's fairly accurate. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't have anything on Holmes. Like I, said. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't think we we faced him yet this year in this the five previous. 
And he's going up against Kent Rather as well, uh, who's got okay velocity. He's got good junk too as well, but he's pretty darn accurate. So Rather as well has pitched Rather as well during the season. Yes, he has. How about those yes, notable? Yes, he has. He's... <laughs> How about those notable players, BJ? Oh, um, notable players for the Wild Pigs. We're talking um, Flash Evans in right field, uh, Bloop Michaels at short, and uh, Stracy Wagner, Spanky Wagner. I'm sorry. Um, Evans is hitting 375 in the playoffs with one home run. Bloop Michaels 111, and then of course uh, Wagner hitting a thousand. <laughs> so uh, uh, freebooters are looking at Guns Jackman shortstop, Brickhouse center field, and Oakley Stiffs in right. Um, everybody's playing better than their averages. Uh, Jackman at short is hitting 444 with a home run. Brickhouse is hitting 333. Stiffs has got 429. But again, the notable players for the Freebooters, only one home run out of the three of them. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe those numbers change today. <laughs> That's it. I'd like to see a couple of long balls. <laughs> Let's right. get out front fast. Looking at the starting lineup, I think they're going with everyone normal. Now, Jermaine Reigns, again, is not 100%. Uh, he's well. But uh, we've had problems with uh, with Reigns' condition this whole season. Um, yeah, he's been on and then off. <laughs> now, the thing is, during the season, I think I had Downton Upton backing up Reigns. But in this case, uh, Rocky Backstop, who was solid during the regular season, he's actual, his first position is catcher. So I wonder if it makes sense to go with Backstop. I'd go with that. How's his arm? Well, we we struggle with that. Well, he doesn't have a great arm. Okay. We know he could he can contribute everywhere else though. Yeah. That's up to you. What do you think? We stick with Reigns or we go with the backstop? Um. Well, it's tough because if we go into the game. And we start Reigns, and we decide after a, a, an at bat or two to pull him. Then we don't get we keep we don't have him on the bench. But by the Ooh. same token, we can always bring Bad Hop um, backstop in there later. Yeah, yeah, we could pull him off the bench. We don't do a whole lot of swaps. Yeah, we don't do a whole lot of swaps yeah. uh, other than pitching. So maybe that'll be our thing. So we stick with it, huh? Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we got. If it ain't broke, up. don't fix it. Right. Patience Evergreen left field, Sturdy Woodman first base, Guns Jackman at shortstop, playing, uh, he's locked in. Also locked in Stockton Brickhouse in center field, Oakley Stiffs in right field, Bad Hop Brown at third base, Walker runs at second base, Jermaine Reigns will start, uh, they'll, tell you, they'll keep an eye on him, and uh, Kent Rather as well, on the bump, as Pete says. And I think they're <laughs> going to throw us down to the field and get this thing started. I'm so excited. For all the marbles, Tommy. All the mm. money on the. This is why they get paid the big money here. Mm -hmm. This is why we pretend to get paid the big money. That's right. That's right. <laughs> For moments like these, you yes. gotta step up. <laughs> series decide. One one series deciding game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Michaels is down. Yes, and Wagner is still out. He is. So they got Storm in for Wagner. Bacon, Stiffner, um, the three of the first four hitters are are, are down. Uh, coming up, Luke Michaels, Godfrey Storm, and Wally Bacon. Godfrey Storm in for Spanky Wagner. Kent Ratherswells at uh, pitching for the Freebooters as we get ready. Now batting number 46. Uh, we are underway. Luke Michaels is hitting 111 for the playoffs. It is. Rather as well. Throws a four seam, a slider, a curveball, change up, and a fork ball. Rather as well as out in front of Michaels, 0 and 2. Swing and a swinging strikeout to start the game. Rather as well. Now batting. Announces his presence with a Thor tie. <laughs> Godfrey Storm steps in. He's playing first base for the injured Spanky Wagner. Oh, 
Ground ball to the first baseman. Over the first, steps on the bag for the uh, easy out. I like what I'm seeing here so far, PJ. Yes, sir. 250. Ollie Bacon's hitting 250 playing second base. He's he's tense. Out pigs uh, two outs. Top of the first inning. Ratherswell gets Bacon to chase one low. 0 and 1. Fooled him on an inside pitch. 0 and 2. Ratherswell has him right where he wants him. In the hole, 0 and 2 with two outs. Outside. Tried to get him a chase. Didn't fall for it. One and two, two out. Swing and a miss, strike three. Three up, three down. We're heading to the bottom part of the first inning with the uh, freebooters sending Patience Evergreen, Sturdy Woodman, and Guns Jackman to the plate against Durbin Holmes. Patience Evergreen hitting 222 on that uh, for the series. First pitch is high from Holmes. Fouled off, one and one. Durbin Holmes throws a four seam, a slider, a change up and a curveball. Strike two, two and two. Smash to the shortstop. Luke Michaels makes the throw to four. One out. That was close, sir. She looked it was. Good. I probably should have pulled the trigger. That's all right. Sturdy Woodman in the play here. Sturdy Woodman is having a good series so far. He crushes that one, and it goes to the winning oh. track, but Enrique Goyo gets it. Whew. That looked good for a short period there. Guns Jackman's hitting 444. He's got a home run and three RBIs. Hi, pop fly just in the foul territory along the first baseline. Rosie Hardman, the right fielder, is able to get over and make the catch in foul territory for three outs. That was quick on both Coming sides. up in the top of the second, Theodore Stiffner, Flash Evans, and Rosie Hardman. Rather as well, thrown eight pitches with two strikeouts. He has indeed. Theodore Stiffner's uh, tense here for the Booter. He's a power hitter. He's hitting 143 in the playoffs. Uh, Stiffner's always dangerous. So Rather as well is going to pitch him inside there, change it looked like. The first pitch low and inside ball, or strike one. Owen won the count. That one was low, and underneath it is, oh, come on. Oh. What? I don't know what happened there. He was not on his way to third and totally missed that one. Oh, boy. Okay. Now batting, oh, number I, 16. I, I, that one just got over his head, folks. Oy. Oh, not good, not good. But uh, here comes a curveball. Evans pops that up, and this one should be okay. Underneath it is Reigns. Make the first out, and nobody's yeah. going anywhere. Now number Rosie Hardman stepping to the plate. The right She's a power hitter, so he's got to be careful with her. She's got zero for the playoff so far, Hardman. Hasn't seen a whole lot. She grounds it, and they're going to go over to first. Oh, no! Wrong button. Now batting. That's Number his mistakes. I'll <laughs> be back. Yeah, gotta, gotta recover from those mistakes ASAP. Harbin's at first and gets that first run in for the for the uh, the pigs. Not not good feeling so far in this inning for the, the booters. Two curveballs in a row there, rather as well put Moon behind the behind the eight ball. He's 0-2, one out on the top of the second. Tries to get him chasing that one on the outside corner. One and two the count. Rosie Hardman at first base. Delivers that one just a little bit outside. Moon doesn't chase, and we're even in the count to a piece. That one fools him low, and that's out number two strikeout. Good, good pitching by Ratherswell there. Hoping to get out of the inning pretty quick here. Up comes Enrique Goyo. Enrique Goyo's fast, and uh, ooh, there's a, that's going to be popped up, and underneath it, not a problem. as Guns Jackman to end the side and grabs that one. All right. Well, the Wild Pigs put one on the board. Uh, three winner sending Stockton Brickhouse, Oakley Stiffs, and Bad Hop Brown to the blade. Durbin Holmes threw seven pitches in that first inning. Mm. Got to get him to pitch him to throw some more pitches. We do. Stockton Brickhouse hitting 333 for the series. He's got one RBI. He does. Well, the first one's a ball. Brickhouse could tie the game with one swing of the bat here. <laughs> He's one another count. Oh, and he wanted to. 
A little early on that one, strike one, one apiece. Outside good either, 91 and five miles an hour on that one. And he's quickly three and one. Good, good patience by Brickhouse. Who rushes that one left? Full count, three and two. Brickhouse chased that one, knocked it right off the top of the dugout. Coming in fast, and Brickhouse crushes it to left center. It's going deep, but ah, oh, there's a reach for Coyho again. He's everywhere. Just hanging up long enough. Oakley Stiffs hitting 429 with an RBI. Swing, I missed. Ah, right, ball one, one and one. Swing, popped up, going deep, right field. Wow, <laughs> just out of play. Oh. Strike three over the outside corner. Now back, oh, number well, That second one was That's close to a home run, just a little bit far. And then he ends up with a strikeout. What a, what a letdown. <laughs> Uh, up at the plate here, we got Bad Hop Brown, the third baseman. He's got two pitches in there. It's one apiece. Holmes is rapid fire in there, but good patience by Brown, who is now two and one. That one's outside. He's three and one. He's calling a little bit of time there, getting some signal from the first base coach because he's a righty. Delivers here. Oh, he didn't need to swing, but he gets that one out in the center field, and he's going to hold up for a nice single at first base. The first hit for the Booters so far. All right, well, uh, now batting, number up 23, ball, the second 429 base. for the series. He's got one RBI. Bad Hop Brown does not have very good wheels over there at first, so I don't think he's a danger to steal. Ooh. Nice. He hits it in the left field side. He's going. Bad Hop Brown's got a, oh, a double. He stays at first, though. Interesting. One. Yeah, again, and, conservative to yes. a point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a first and third, and Jermaine Reigns at the plate here. He's, uh, he's, he's a good outs, contact yeah. hitter. He's not doing great, but all he needs is an outfield single. And he hits that one to deep center field. It is going back, 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 B.J. He catches oh. it, and he boom robs him. Oh, that thing was out of here. The three-run homer, and Man and Moon reaches over the wall and <laughs> totally lets the air out of the tires. I'm sorry, folks. Now batting, <laughs> that was a heck of a catch the by Manny <laughs> Moon. You got to give it to uh, Durbin Holmes, the pitcher, is stepping in against uh, Kent Rathers. Well, fouled it back into the screen. 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. A little late swing there. So uh, Holmes finds himself in the hole 0 and 2. Top of the third, Wild Pig still holding on to a one-run lead. Oh. Swing and a strikeout. Another one for Rath as well. Strike us. Now Bring him up. Number 46. Holmes threw the bat in disgust. Slams it to the ground. So one out, top of the third. They're starting their batting order over again. Luke Michael steps in. Oh, crushes it. Hot smash to the second baseman who picks it up, makes the throw to first for two outs. Now batting. Godfrey Storm, 0 for 1 on day 200, batting 200 for the series with one RBI. Swing, pass to Ratherswell is dealing from a comfortable spot right now. He's 0 ahead, 0 and 1 with two outs. Swing and a miss. Storm is having a hard time keeping up with Ratherswell. 0 and 2. That's it. Swing and a miss. Jeez. For Paul, you know, for a third strike, strikeout. <laughs> Kent Ratherswell, Patience Evergreen, and Sturdy Woodman coming to the plate. Durbin Holmes has thrown 26 pitches with one strikeout and given up two hits. And yet, no one across the plate no, yet, Tommy. No, boy, but I like what I'm seeing, though, from the Booters here. Without a couple of quick Rather, mistakes. Yeah, Ratherswell steps in. Hot smash, just foul along the third baseline. Only one. Smash to the shortstop. Luke Michaels picks it up, throws him out in the first. What else? Patience nine, Evergreen hoping to see some pitches. Field. She's 0 for 1, hitting 200 in the playoffs. Patience isn't going to be held back for too long. It's just a matter of time before we see something from her. She gets off a piece of that. Oh, but what a oh, jumping pitch. Oh, oh, it's oh, oh, at first base. Number 24, the first baseman. Wow. Sturdy Woodman 0 for 1, hitting 400 on the series. A little bit of a late swing there. Oh. Swing and a miss. Strike two. One and two. 
One and two, two out, bottom of the third. Smash the shortstop and fields it, makes the throw to first. Aye. Three outs. Coming up quick. for the Wild Pigs, Wally Bacon, Theodore Stiffner, and Flash Evans. Ravenswell's thrown 25 pitches, got five Ks. Giving up one hit, he's got an ERA of three. Now batting, Wally Bacon. number 60, the second Luckily base. for us, Wally Bacon is tense. He's 0 for 1 on the day. So, Ravensville delivers a curveball in there. And they're going to get lined by the first, first baseman. Base Takes it himself. Now yes. batting, number 15. Theodore Stiffner is the third, third baseman. Base. He's 1 for 1 with a triple. This is that one in the first inning where he... Got a little lucky on the fielding. Fools him there. Pushes that one right. Foul ball. 0-1 oh, to count. And uh, rather as well. He's looking, looking good for his stamina here. He's throwing. He's going to throw his 28th pitch when he gets a signal. Got his swings coming in. Another another one with some movement on it. Nice movement. He's swinging. He's 0-2 in the count. Rather as well could play with him a little bit. And he does. Gets him in low inside and puts him in another one. Pete Rathersmith is looking good. Number 16. He is. He is. we got to get some offense behind him. And to be honest with you, Tommy, the way the, way the wild pigs are flashing that leather, I don't know how. Hot smash to the shortstop. Makes the grab. Long throw. Three down. We're heading to the bottom of the fourth. Uh, Freebooter is going to send Guns Jackman, Stockton Brickhouse, and Oakley Stiffs to the plate. Durbin Holmes has thrown 33 pitches with a strikeout and given up two hits. Freebooters with two hits now and the Wild Pigs with one, but the Wild Pigs Who holding on to a 1 0 lead. Jackman Guns one, Jackman. Hitting 400 in the playoffs. Ooh, that one was, looked like a good one. You just watched it go 0 1 the count. We chased oh. that one a little bit, pushed it a little bit right, and we're going to toss him out first. Good coordination between the second and first baseman. Now batting, number 30, the center field. Stockton Brickhouse 0 for 1 on the day. 286 with one RBI. Oh, what a swing and a miss. Strike one. Hot oh. smash to the second baseman. Picks it up, makes the throw over the first. Two quick outs. They got to get this thing in the outfield, Pete J. Oakley right Stiffs at the plate yes. here. He's 0 for 1, hitting 375. Can Oakley Stiffs be the first okay. one Hits. to solve him? Good eye on Stiffs here. That first one's inside ball one. Second one's outside ball two. Like a pitching machine. The third one's right in there. And Stiffs just a little bit ahead of it. Two and one. That one's no, high. And no, Stiffs no, pops no. it up behind Get. the plate. And Flash Evans flashes it. That's over. Rosie Hardman, Manya Moon, Enrique Goya coming up. Rather as well as throwing 30 pitches. Six Ks and a hit. The RA is down to 2.25. Now batting number 66, the right fielder. Rosie Hardman's uh, 0 for 1. She has uh, she does not have a batting average yet. She is not. Uh... Okay. That one drops in there at the left field. They hold her up at first. Now back. Clean number single into the outfield. He's 0-1 on the day, hitting 222. Uh, low, ball one. 1-0, one oh, top of the fifth. Swing and a miss, evens up the count, 1-1. One one. Wild Pigs with a 1-0 lead. Rosie Hardeman standing at first. Swing and a miss, strike two. 1-2. One two. Hold on a second. Um, go pitch out. Yep. Um, two and two. Pitch out. Thought we might see something. These uh, wild pigs have not respected the uh, freebooter catcher's arms. It's three and two now. That last pitch just missed low and outside. Swing and a miss. Swinging strikeout. That's one out. Now back. Number 10, the left fielder. One out. Enrico Goya steps in. He's playing left field. Rosie Hardman still standing at first. One out, top of the fifth. Wild Pigs still with a one to nothing lead. Late swing by Goya for a first strike. A little high. Evens up to count. One and one. Top of the fifth inning. 
Goya watches that one goes by and gets called. I called second strength, one and two. Strike three, ring him up. Goya never took the bat off of his shoulder. That's uh, strikeout number seven for Rather as well. Wow. Two outs, top of the fifth. Hardman still at first base. Stepping in is Durbin Holmes, the pitcher. A little bit of a late swing for the first strike. Ooh, another late swing. 0-2, he's in the hole. Rather as well as in the driver's seat here. Fooled him completely for a swing and strikeout. Jeez. I gotta believe that's eight. You can't blame Rather as well. All right. Him. No, sir. Bad hop Brown. Walker runs and Jermaine Reigns. Coming up against Durbin Holmes, who's thrown 41 pitches, one strikeout, two hits. No ERA no yet. Now batting, we need to get some runs going, boys. One for one with a single. Bad hop around. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Shot straight up the middle in the center field for a clean single. Bad right. hop around has led off with a single. Good start. Walker runs coming up here. Walker runs is locked in one for one with a single hit. 500. I'd like to see this going here. Walker runs, crushes that to left field. It is going deep, deep, Pete. That one gets over his head. <laughs> Two run digger, Walker runs. Oh, the booters needed that, and they quickly take the lead with a 434 foot home run. Runs his first home run, 434 foot, and second RBI in the playoffs. Two one booters. All right. The main rain steps in. He's 0 for 1, hitting 143 for the series with an RBI. No outs, bottom of the fifth. That one's high, ball one, good eye. Swing and a hot smash to the third baseman. He makes the throw over to first for the first out. Only the first now out. Let's see if Ratherswell could surprise him. Anyway. Ratherswell comes to play, he's 0 for 1, but uh, Ratherswell's a pretty good hitting pitcher, so we'll see here. He gets a hold of that one, goes right up the middle, and he's gonna get a single. Man and Moon picks it up, they're gonna keep him at first. Now they're getting the hits, PJ. Yes, sir. We're turning the uh, offense on. Patience nine, Evergreen. Hope for two on the day. She is ready to just blow at this point. Oh, her first one's fouled off along the third base line. A bunt. A bunt. Ratherswell's taking off. The throw is to first. Jeez, patience Evergreen is sacrificed. Ratherswell's standing in second. I think she did it because they wouldn't expect it, PJ. Could be. And he's going to strike one inside corner to uh, Sturdy Woodman. Sturdy Woodman's. Uh, no way he's swinging at that pitch. That's way outside. It was one on one account. Oh, Woodman's about a day early on that one. One and two. The medium pressure situation. That one's a little bit inside. Good eye by Woodman there. Two and two. That one's high, but Woodman cranks it off to the right side. Pulls it just a bit. Oh, Sturdy Woodman gets ahead of that one a little bit again, but he's really got the wood on the ball. Still two and two. That one's inside too, but he's mainly throw some pitches. That one's right in there. Oh, Woodman gets the third strike, but the booters. Luke Michaels, Gottfried Storm, Wally Bacon coming up for uh, for the Wild Pigs. Rather as well as throwing 44 pitches, nine strikeouts. I'm sorry, giving up two hits. Short change. <laughs> Luke Michaels stepping up. Short. Luke Michaels over two, hitting 091. And Rather's Wells still got some stamina here. He's closing in on his 50th pitch. He delivers here. That one's a curveball and it starts off with that strike. One one the count to Luke Michaels, who's a power hitter. Michaels gets that one, picks it up. I'm sorry, and throws it to Woodman. That wasn't Michaels, the second base. <laughs> I'm sorry. Godfrey Storm, first baseman. He's 0 for 2 at 167. Rather's Wells feeling good here. And uh, he's still playing his game. Delivers good movement on the ball there. It's oh, no. going to go over his head and land in, in the middle there. And they're going to hold him up at first for a single. Hoping for the double play here. Up to bat, Wally Bacon. He's 0 for 2, hitting 200. Bacon is a power hitter. As well, looking for a signal. Likes what he sees, Ooh, no. delivers inside. Ooh, Bacon pulls that one left. And uh, oh, won the count, foul ball. That one's low, he's gonna pick it up and they're gonna throw him at first because they're not gonna get second. Out number two. 
Now batting, number 15, the third baseman. Theodore Stiffner is one for two with a triple, though. Uh, so Stiffner shows he can hit. He's a power hitter, so uh, so Ratherswell is going to have to throw his 50th pitch and get some movement on it so he doesn't put it out of here. I'm just a little bit low. He doesn't go for it. Ball one, one early count. That one's also low. Ball two. Who fools him on that one? That's inside, but he swings. Two and one the count. He's also keeping an eye on the second baseman. Fools him again there on the inside corner. Two and two. He's even. We're going to see if he pitches another strike or if he guy tries to get him chasing here. He's throwing his 54th pitch coming up. Looking for the signal. Gets the signal. Delivers. Pops that one up to left field. That's going deep, but underneath it is Evergreen. Who's going to finish the side. I thought, <laughs> Yeah, we do. <laughs> coming up for the... Uh, Freebooters, Guns, Jackman, Stockton, Brickhouse, Oakley, Stiffs, Durbin, Holmes has thrown 57 pitches, two strikeouts, giving up five hits, and an ERA of 3.6. These, these three, you're not going to hold them very long. One of these guys is going to break it open. You'd think so. You'd think so. Guns, Jackman stepping in. Oh, it's a bloop single into uh, right field. Rosie Hardman throws it into Wally Bacon. And now uh, batting. First, Stockton Guns Brickhouse. Jackman at first. Yeah, Stockton Brickhouse at the plate here. Let's see if Stockton can answer. That, whoa, that hit a brush back there. Stockton will back off. One over count. Oh, it doesn't fall for that one. That one's going to go through, and they're going to hold him up at second. Nice, another nice single. One is at first and second with no out. No out. No Oakley no stiff stepping in. He's 0 for 2, hitting 333 for the series. He's got one RBI. He got minimum with some speed on both first and second. And he's going home. He's going home. He's going to slide in there, and he makes it safe. Yes, way to go, Booters. And another run in there. Another single. The third baseman. Bad Hop Brown is two for two, hitting 545 in the playoffs. All of a sudden, the Booters are are looking dangerous here. That first pitch is outside. Ball one. Runners at first and second. That one's also low. Ball two. 3-1 booters, bottom of the six. Oh, and he crushes that one. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no way that's in the park. That is out of here, right field. <laughs> Waiting. I'm losing my stuff, PJ. That was a 362-foot bottom of the right field. Now, Brown, second home run, and third RBI of the playoffs. This game's getting away from the pigs, PJ. Yes, but it's never too far out of reach, Tommy. No, it isn't They're going to be pulling Durbin Holmes. Yes. Bring it in the uh, relief pitcher, Kendra Kerr. Kerr throws a four seam, a slider, a curveball, and a change. Kendra Kerr. Bases are clear after the three run homer. Hot smash to the first baseman who picks it up. Godfrey Storm steps on the bag himself. For the first, I believe that's the first out. That is out. the first out, Pete. A first out. Jermaine Reigns okay. is 0 for 2, but he's looking, he's, he's feeling the, the good vibes there. Well, that one came back in, but it's still outside. Kerr throws a first one, ball one. And that one goes overhead in the center field and another single. And Jimmy Reigns adds to the crowd. Now he's safe on first base. Now batting. Can That's him for two singles. He's hitting 500 in the playoffs. Not a lot of speed over at first base, but there's no arm behind plate. Ooh. Pitcher makes a... Oh! All right, so they... Uh, pitcher makes it. Bobbles the ball. Nine, they get the first hit. Uh, Brown going for second, but rather as well safe at first. So there's two outs. Man out first. And now Evergreen at the plate. Evergreen, now she's looking to get in on the action. That's her pitch, but she's just a little bit late on it. One and one will count. That one's low, ball two. Low pressure situation, two and one. She crushes that one, but it's right to Wally Bacon at second base to drop from Storm on the side. All right. So they put, they hang a couple on there, four on them. Uh, Flash Evans, Rosie Hardiman, and Manya Moon going to come up against Kent Ratherswell. He's thrown 54 pitches with nine strikeouts and three hits and an ERA of 1.5. Now batting. Freebooters have gone on a tear, Tommy. They're they're up 10. They're up 10. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're what just sounded like on that one. They're up 10. Oh, really? Yeah. It was the digital distortion there. Sorry about that, folks. First pitch from Ratherswell is a strike. 0-1. Little outside. Evens up the count. 1-1. One one. The Freebooters uh, jumped out. 
front of the Wild Pits are going to 6 to 1. Ooh. Hot smash. I just foul on the first baseline. Evans is in the hole 1 and 2. Little low. 2 and 2 evens up the count. Another low pitch. 3 and 2. The count has gone full. Top of the seventh. Swing and a miss. Flash Evans goes down. Swing and end. Now the man. number 66, the right fielder. 66, Rosie Hardeman, the right fielder, stepping in. One out. Grant as well, still feeling pretty. Swing and a miss by Hardeman. Strike one. He's looking good. He's got. He's still got a lot of. He's got a lot going on. He does. On. He's. He's feeling. He's almost on autopilot, Tommy. 0-2 against Hardeman. Swing and miss for 11. That is K number 11. Now I've never Brandon seen this well. The center field. Well, he's he's been pretty. I mean, he's knocked on the door of a performance like this all year long, Tom. He has really been on point. Um, but uh, he is on fire currently. Swing. Way, yes. way to come through to play. I mean, boy, this game so um, far, Pete, this is the game they needed to play. Exactly right. And you're getting the performance out of one of your best pitchers. No and two off a foul tip. Might as well smash the pitcher. He picks it up, throws it over to first for the third out. Right. Going into the bottom of the seventh. Sturdy Woodman 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Guns Jackman 1 for 3. Stockton Brickhouse 1 for 3. Kendrick Kerr has thrown 8 pitches with giving up 1 hit. Bottom of the seventh, Tommy. Things have now changed here. Sturdy Woodman. Woodman's 0 for 3. He's hitting third, 333 for the series. He's another one that we feel is good. The, the, the cork is going to pop at some point and he's going to get loose. Quickly, the a shot that's deep that's long and it is just oh. foul along the third base line one and two <laughs> two and two count has evened up two and two bottom of the seven all three uh, oh. hot smash just foul a foul out of play on the first base side Oh, a high strike three. Now batting, number Jack, 27. Guns Jack in steps. He's one for three with a single hit in 413 in the playoffs. They, they may going to throw a lot of pitches, Kendrick Kershaw. Oh, and he crushes it. Guns Jackman, that one's out of here, folks. That is definitely gone. <laughs> I drove. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. 368 foot skyrocket second home run and fourth RBI of the playoffs <laughs> good shit you're a brew Stockton Brickhouse one for three steps in smash into the gap he's pulling up on two he's gonna get two out of this one stand up double I'm thinking it may, go. It, it may be over here <laughs> no bad you can play it all the way to the end, Tommy. Because we know how quickly things can change. We can. Oakley Stiffs a power hitter. Oakley Stiffs watch that first one. Good uh, good patience there. One and all the count. It's another ball. Two and one the count. Starting to make starting to make Kerr nervous. Oh, that's like a swinging bunt foul. One and two the count. Oh, and he crunches that. That has got to be out of here as well. Another one. A huge run over center field wall. What is happening? Look at I don't want them to use it all up today. Okay, still switch home when they throw down behind the car. Oh, I'm worried they're going to have nothing left. Number 25. Ed Hop Brown stepping in. Three for three, a home run, two singles, and three RBIs for the day. We are still in the bottom of the seventh with one out. That first offering is a ball. Ed Hop swings and fouls one off one on the third baseline. Hot smash to the second baseman. Picks it up. Over to it's only out number two. Big guy. They're out number two. Walker, Walker runs is up. Two, two for three. Oh. Hitting 500. And he's talking over me. <laughs> that first one get moving. Coming in there. Oh, and one the count. Runs wants the second one. One and one the count. Curry's throwing her 27th pitch. He pops that one left. One and two the count. He's behind it. Oh! That one needed back out of the way. With two and two, she's like a pitching machine. 
And Walker Runs pops that up to right center, and they're going to get there. And then a moon for the third. All right. Going into the top of the eighth, Enrico Goya 0 for 2 at a strikeout. Kendra Kerr's first at bat, but I doubt we're going to see her pick up a bat. Luke Michaels 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Ratherswell 66 pitches, 11 strikeouts, giving up three now hits. Yes, I don't know if Ratherswell's going to get to go the whole game, but Goya stepping the plate for 2. Uh, Goyo is, uh, he's tense though, too. So Ratherswell still got his stuff on there. He's on fire, and he's throwing a 67th pitch. That one's a little bit low, ball one. One of the count. Um, boy, if they could clone Ratherswell's performance today, they, they, no one could beat him. That one was fouled back. One and one the count. That's a curve in there. Strike two to Enrique Goyo. It's uh, nine one booters at the top of the eighth. One and two the count. Enrique Goyo with his third pitch and yet another strikeout. PJ. This man's a monster. Kendra Kerr walks out there and, like you said, you saw oh, that one coming. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> uh oh. Does this change things for Pete J? <laughs> it does. Spanky it does. is coming right. in with a strained hammy. Yes. Uh, but uh, this is this is the all or nothing game, Tommy. So they're pulling Spanky Wagner in. Strained hammy and all. I think it's him to uh, try and get. Get a hit here. He is. 71st first, first pitch for Ratherswell. That one's low and away. Ball one to count. 1 0. That one's a fastball low, and, and Wagner gets a hold of it. Wagner doesn't look like he's he's doing poorly. He's uh, 1 and 1. Pitch. Oh, wow. Ooh, that was in his wheelhouse, and he pulled it right, but he's ahead in the count. 1 and 2. So Ratherswell can play with him here. Oh, and he throws a curve, and that one goes right past the pitcher, and wouldn't you know, Ratherswell. It's going to come up at first base and get the single. I don't, I don't have to worry about him taking second, though. Now, I don't think so. I don't think he can run. So. In fact, there he They're goes. Wagner. I just wanted to and now he's out. Yeah, the, Turbo Miles coming in to pinch run for Spanky Wagner. And he could steal Turbo second. Turbo Miles. Yeah, he's got a lot of speed, Turbo. They're starting to, they're warming up in the bullpen. Uh, rather as well as throwing a 75th pitch right here. That one's inside. He gets another strike out here. They think they'd like to see him end the eighth inning. Maybe he could go the whole game. You never know. That one's low and away. He's not suffering. He's not losing anything yet. They got a they got a long. They got a big lead. There's a steal, but it doesn't matter because that one's fouled right. It's one and two to count to Boop Michaels. Boop's a power hitter generally. Curveball gets him chasing and another strikeout. Oh, he's not ahead with that. And there's two down. Number 29. Up to the plate comes the Godfrey season. Storm, who's hitting one for three with a single and 286 in the playoffs. Storm's chewing his gum and looking to do something here with a man on first. Oh, no. Well gets a single. That one goes right in there, but there's movement on it, and Storm misses it. 0 oh, 1 the count. Getting ready to throw his 80th pitch. This Kent rather as well here. Uh, which I think is helping keep him in the game. Ooh, that one's on a way. Good trap by Reigns. One and one the count. Fooled that one on the inside. They're going to have to get him at first because that's all you need. Turbo Miles is leaving. He's being replaced by Sirloin Jones. Sirloin Jones, play, uh, the closing pitcher, he throws a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, and a slider. We're going into the bottom of the eighth. Jermaine Reigns, Kent Ratherswell, and Patience Evering coming up, facing off against uh, Sirloin Jones for the first time in this series. The uh, Freebooters winning, uh, leading nine to one. Now they have out hit 13. the Wild Pigs 13 to four. Jermaine Reigns is one for three on the day. Swing and a miss, strike one, 0 and one. Man, he has Swing heat. a shot to first base. First baseman picks it up, makes this, makes the run over to first. And, and here you got the pitcher. And he's one for three of the single, hitting 333. They're gonna, they may try and get him to do the whole game here, just to have the, and he, he hits it. Up the left field side, but a diving catch by Blue Michaels. Are they going to beat him? And they don't. He's safe at first as Kent Ratherswell. <laughs> Patience Evergreen, 0 for three with a 167 for the series. She's tense. A shot. 
All right, just bounces in front of the center fielder. We've got people at uh, Ratherswell at second, Evergreen at first. Now One out, Sturdy Woodman stepping in. He's 0 for 4. Over in 308. But Sturdy Woodman seeing what his, what his teammates have done, and I think he wants to add to it by putting one over the wall here, P.J. First one comes inside, ball one, more no account. And then the first and second, and he does. He cranks it hard to the left, and Pete, he's going to get his own. That's out of here. <laughs> Three-run dinger over the left of the wall. What is happening? Oh, Sturdy Woodman, a 398 foot. His first home run and first home run of the playoffs, and it's a clinic. This game's over. I feel bad. Achievement unlocked. Achievement unlocked. Just give up already. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A slow ground ball just fouled along the third base line. Guns Jackman stepping in. Swing and another foul. One and two for Jackman. One out. Fouled off along the first base line. One out in the bottom of the eighth. Two and two. Ah. Ah. Strike three. And a tip of the hat by Guns Jackman. That is what I call sportsmanship, Tommy. That is quintessential. <laughs> Stocks from Brickhouse saunters up to the plate like he owns the place. And he hits that one in the left field, and it's going to go. He's going to get an extra base. He's double, going around double, double. first. He's going to stroll on the second base without a problem and hold up there. Oh. Right, <laughs> oh my goodness, PJ. I didn't now want to see the, the pigs go out like this. Right Oakley Stiffs, two for four. They have to be shown that they are not in the same league with the free booters. <laughs> <laughs> this is Way a lesson. To miss. It's a schoolyard That's lesson. Right. Oh, oh, and two. A little outside. One and two. Two outs. I don't know what he is. brings the heat. Jones is... Uh, Lost his, there's, foul tip back, two and two. And there's a shot, high, pop fly into right field, caught by Rosie Hardiman for the third out. And we're going into the top of the ninth. Wally 17 Bacon, hits. Theodore Stiffner, Flash Evans. Ratherswell stone 81 pitches with 13 strikeouts, giving up four hits. He's got a 1.13 ERA. Now batting, number 60. Wally Bacon sends up, saunters up here. He's tense. Oh, sorry. Bacon saunters up and he's tense. <laughs> <laughs> Where have I heard that before? <laughs> just in, I was going to say, just in case you didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> uh -huh. First offering by Rathers Wells. Uh, low and outside, inside. Ball one. Oh, no. Shot. Oh. He gets that. Oh, that's going out in the center field. And they're chasing it down. They got through a third. He's rounded oh, no. second base. He's on his way to third. Oh, and they dropped that. And he's going home. It's an in-the-park home run. Unbelievable. Yeah, now oh, no. 15, the third base. All right. Well, let's pull. I think we should pull rather as well. Yeah. Oh, it's, are you he's sure? at 83 pitches. Yeah. You sure well, if you want to go. Yeah, I kind of okay, want to. I think that was a fluke. I mean, how many in-the-park home runs do you see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Free uh just gave up a, a inside the park home run to make it 12-2 freebooters. Swing and a missed strike. Right? Well, just out in, uh, in ahead of the theater stiffner, 0-2. Oh There's no outs. Little outside. Ball one, one and two. Rather as well as stamina starting there. There's a slow ground ball that a pitcher picks it up, throws it over the first for the first no. out. Number 16. Flash Evans from right, uh, playing right field steps, and he's 0 for 3 on the day, hitting 273 for the series. His, uh, rather as well as losing something off his velocity, starting to lose a little accuracy, and his stamina's down. A little low, ball one. Swing and a foul tip, even, evens up the count, one and one, with one out. Swing and a miss, strike two, one and two, rather as well as uh, out in front. A flag got to the shortstop. He picks it up, throws across the first base for the second out. Two outs. Now one out away from going to Harden. the next round, PJ. This is it. The fans are on their feet. Rosie Hardiman stands in. She's one for three on the day. Rather as well has got to be careful. Two outs, top of the ninth. Swing and a miss by Hardman. She's in the hole already, 0-1. Oh, 
As well looks in, delivers. Fouled straight back into the screen. 0 oh 2. Big pitch by Ryan as well. Ground ball to the first baseman who's taking it himself. Steps on the bag for three outs. Ladies and gentlemen, the Freebooters are moving on to the finals. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd's losing their stuff. All right. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> <laughs> what a win with authority. Yes, we finally uh, cracked the code and we were able to get some out. I think, uh, again, the patience um, that I, I showed, I put my, you know, got the reticle where I wanted it and uh, waited for the pitches to come there. So, wow. uh, Wild Pigs, two runs, five hits. It scared me at and first. The free booters. Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah? Go ahead. Go no, go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, that the, like this, the, the error quickly in the game, second inning, Wild Pigs get their run and the booters go four first four innings without anything yeah and then yeah. two and four, they were three, like three yeah I have the first four innings too you got that feeling it was three up three down three up three down and it was like oh no here we go <laughs> 12 runs off of 17 hits yes sir one inside the park home run given up to Wally Bacon um, but over on the other side uh, the freebooters got the bats out and uh, they went yard five times Tommy holy cow Five home runs. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's a, that's a big game. Uh, D Holmes that is. <clears throat> with the loss, pitched five innings, gave up nine hits, uh, did two strikeouts, two home runs off, made a 10.80 ERA. Kerr and Jones came in, didn't do that much better. <laughs> no, they certainly didn't. They uh, each gave up three earned and. Uh, um, had a strikeout each. Kerr gave up two additional home runs, and yeah, uh, <laughs> Kerr leaves with an 8.1 ERA, while Jones is leaving with a 13.5. So not not a good one at all. Over on the other side, rather as well with the win, nine innings pitched. Tommy only gave up five hits and two earned, but look at that number under the strikeouts. <laughs> 13 strikeouts with one dinger off them, and that, actually that wasn't even yeah. a dinger. That was the in the park one. Right, that was more. That was uh, more than uh, you can't really pin that on Ratherswell. ERA of two. So, <laughs> how about those players of the game? Three stars of the game. Yeah, three stars of the game. You want to start us off, Tom? Uh, Kent Ratherswell, the pitcher, of course, playing the full game. You don't see that very often from Booters pitchers, but he played all nine innings. Like you said, got five hits off and two earned runs, thirteen Ks. Followed up by Bad Hop Brown over at third base. Three for four, a home run, three RBIs, and he scored two runs. He doesn't have any speed. The guy has no speed whatsoever. <laughs> but he gets on base consistently, Tom. You he can't does. You, you can't knock the guy. <laughs> and then finishing off there, Oakley Stiffs will not be denied. He comes back in, goes two for five with a home run, three RBIs, and two runs for the game. What a day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think that, that was the big, the big, the thing that made that have to meet the lineup really, really got the bats going today. Yeah, boy, look at that. It's all those home runs are yours, buddy. <laughs> I only got one RBI for crying out loud. I got nine of the strikeouts. No, but you got nine strikeouts. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, you were on the defense. A little bit on the defense, but, you know. All right, coming back up into the booth for the post-game show. <coughs> I had to do that at least once. First round. Oh, Freebooters have survived the first round. Well, that's too close. Conference, you won the conference semifinals. Yes, we have. Okay. Took the boss division. So we're going. Here we are. We're. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going sorry, up buddy. against the Moon Stars. Yeah, now we're looking at conference finals. Both sides, you got the across on the other side, you got the first place B Wolves going with the second place Buzzards. So definitely the top two teams in the regular season vying for the championship. And over on yeah. our side, you got the um, what was the fourth place Moon Stars coming up against the. Um, that's funny. Why does it show a one by yeah, the Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, yeah against, I saw that. It's it's like a glitch or something. Yeah, against the um, the second base, 
or the second place. Uh, uh, Freebooter. Freebooter. <laughs> who, who, we yeah. are, who are we again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at the detailed uh, matchups. It's going to be uh, the Moonstars are going to be sending Wonderfloss against Lana Rhymes. Uh, Woodrow against Winnie Noel, and then Sauter against Angel Verde. That is, that is, that's going to be, that's going to be some good matchups. Uh, it's we'll have to see how the, how have the, um, how have the, uh, how have they played during the regular season here? I'm going to, I'm going to hit an X to go view the regular season. Uh, looks like the Booters took their first game against the Moonstars for nothing, uh, and then they took the second yeah, game. Yeah, that was they, against. Yeah, and then that's Wonder Floss. And that second game they won three to two against Burger. But they beat them both times they played them. Yeah, they did. They did. That's a good sign. Um, we won't be it doesn't look like we're gonna see Burger in the uh, playoffs, but we will be starting off against Wonder Floss and, and we do have some familiarity with him, so hopefully again, just like against uh, Wild Pigs, we wanna get off to an early start and, and take that first one. Because mm -hmm. that will be an LBA help. We definitely don't want to lose that one. They will. They will. Coming back to, to the old. And, uh, boy, yeah, so the booters did everything right today. Except, I mean, they, you know, that, that first initial fielding circus. <laughs> Giving up a run Well, early. we had two. We yeah. had two. We had one early, um, and then we had the one late that, that caused the inside the park home run. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, and yeah, they ended up losing two runs off of all that, which not not that bad. I mean, um, yeah, and then you know, who'd have thunk? Twelve runs, just I mean, seventeen, yeah, no, seventeen hits, twelve runs, just a blowout. What a day! I'm exhausted. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going through the league leaders right now. Um, stats for your team. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, this this. Uh, this offensive explosion has put a lot of freebooters in that top 10 list. Uh, we've got uh, Kent Ratherswell and Grace Leponovich are leading in, uh, are tied for lead, uh, the lead with one win. K Frequence tied for the lead with one save. So Ratherswell's got a um, opponent average of 0. 0.152. Yeah. Although I'm looking at the. <laughs> Um, the Moon Stars have Bert Bergerer, who has a .071 wow. opponent batting average. So I'm looking at yeah. I'm looking at three things uh, for batting average. The Booters have four of the top ten. Bad Hop Brown second, hitting five thirty eight in the playoffs. Stockton Brickhouse four fifty five in the playoffs. Walker runs four fifty five in the playoffs, and Guns Jackman four twenty nine. For home runs, yeah. for home runs, the Booters have five out of the top ten. They have half of yeah. the top ten bears. Well, today really did it because um, well, I think Bad Hop got one earlier in the uh, playoffs, so he he got another one today, which put him. Didn't he get a second yeah, one today? He's, he's got five RB. He's leading. He's got five RBIs for the playoffs, which also the booters, yeah. Well, he. For RBI, he's got the highest batting average. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's on fire. Bad. Five thirty-eight. We were thinking maybe yeah. we'll just leave. Maybe we'll just leave. Um, leave him out. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, leave him off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stockton well. Brickhouse with the on-base percentage five seventy-one. Bad Hop with five thirty-eight, and Oakley Stiffs has uh, got an on-base percentage of five hundred. Yes. Bad Hop Brown slugging percentage one point zero seven seven. Jeez. <laughs> Bad Hop Brown on base plus slugging 1.615. He's he's second. He's uh, oh second in the league. That's just it's obscene. Hits. He's number one. He's got seven hits in the playoffs. Crikey. Three extra base hits. So he's tied for the lead in the <laughs> extra base hits. Oh, that is nuts. Yeah, but I'm looking at the pitching and this guy uh, for the the uh, Moon Stars, hmm. uh, Burt Burger. Um, yeah, he's he's up in the top ten for a lot of these these things. Uh, strikeouts, Berger is uh, let's see two three four five like eighth. He's eighth. He's got six strikeouts. Wow. So yeah, he's going to be somebody to contend with definitely. Huh. Well, looking. Well, for folks, you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
I was just no, gonna go say I'm glad the I'm glad the season's not over tonight. I'm glad we got we got at least at least a couple more games uh, to play here. We did. Looking forward did. to yeah. starting a new series with the Moon Stars. And what were you gonna say, Pete? I was just I was gonna say uh, same thing. It feels good to have have new life. I mean, uh, I t- tell you, it was a little heavy starting this game off, but uh, it feels a lot lighter now. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yeah. Oh boy! So all we, right, we got another three games to go here. Yes, yes. All right, folks. Well, what a game! What a series! Your booters are moving on to the State Conference Finals, and until then, we'll see you here at El Viejo. This is Tommy G. And PJ, and I'm saying, get out of here! Yeah! <laughs> All right, get it. <laughs>